Hello and welcome to the tutorial on pivoting in Mobit. So if I open up the character and come to the movement, and I just type pivot, it will give me everything in the pivot category. Now, the first decision you need to make is the pivot type. For a realistic game like, say, Battlefield, you want velocity in most cases, probably for Assassin's Creed 2 as well. Um, Acceleration is pretty much what Mario and Zelda use, and this is literally based on input. Acceleration and input are one and the same. Velocity is the speed they're moving at. The pivot, when set to velocity, will occur based on a change in velocity, whereas with acceleration, it occurs change, ah, oh, based on a change in input. And of course, there is disabled. So, for velocity, it's a more realistic type of scenario. Acceleration is just when you change inputs. Um, so, you have a min input, and this is kind of like a difference in angle. That, like for both of the, these volleys, it, it's a difference in angle. So, if you do one, then you have to go from negative one to one to cause a pivot. At point eight, you can go from say negative point eight to one point two to cause a pivot. That's the way to look at it. Um, so okay, there are a lot of settings for pivoting, and of course you can disable pivoting altogether, and it will not pivot. So. Use max speed multiplier. Um, this one means you have to be moving at this percentage of your maximum speed to be able to pivot. If I set it to one, you can only move, you can only pivot when you're at max speed. Uh, this here changes between a set speed that you have to be moving at to pivot. And this is a percentage of your current maximum speed. So if you're crouching, your maximum speed will change. Whereas this is just a hard-coded value. Well, not hard-coded, but a preset value, regardless of state. So it's recommended to use this one. But by default, you can always pivot. Pivot min speed maintain time. So if you have a minimum speed, you have to be moving at that speed for this long before you can pivot, or faster than. Pivot duration is like it suggests, that's how long you spend pivoting. Now, pivoting can affect your speed and your acceleration and your braking deceleration. So how long you're in that duration for is how long it affects these for. But it does not simply set it to these values for this duration. It interpolates it throughout the pivot. Uh, pivot cooldown time. It's pretty much self-explanatory. It's you can't pivot until zero seconds has passed since the last pivot. Um, the acceleration multiplier, speed multiplier, is basically how much acceleration and speed you either lose or gain while pivoting. Um, same story with the braking deceleration. So. Pivot bonus acceleration on start. Uh, let's just say give it toy for it. And then we play. And we pivot. And you get a whole lot of speed when you pivot. So what this does is it allows you to drastically lose speed. But when you finish pivoting, you actually get a lot of it back if you or a little bit of it back, if you so desire. So this actually gives you a boost as you start pivoting. And then we have the boost as you finish pivoting. Which probably makes a bit more sense, except it's a bit too sudden. Well, it's up to you what you want to do. Maybe you want a little bit from here and then a little bit more from here. And this will allow you to keep up your speed after pivoting while still getting these slowdowns from pivoting. So you can have it 
actually um, give you some pretty decent uh, results without losing too much momentum and keeping the fluidity of your game going if you set it up right. So the only option we haven't covered is the direction lock time. I'm just going to set this to 1. Okay, you can't really see much because the pivot ends, but maybe I'll just set it to 0.1. Uh, it's doing it, it's just very hard to tell. I don't know if this will make it more obvious or not, but it's actually forcing your character to maintain the direction you are pivoting in. You can't really... Ah, oh, it's not available with Orient to view. So we have to be using the adventure game mode for it to work. So if I go Orient to movement or Orient to movement in a cycle. So since it's quite low, it doesn't keep us in that direction for too long. Well, it's not that low, it's at default value, but now if we do it, you'll see we're stuck in there for a lot longer. Whereas if we set it to way too low, he turns way too soon. But this could give you a desirable result if you want. So at half the default time. In fact, that almost looks quite nice in some circumstances. It will depend on the animations that you use. Now, the one other thing that I want to show you is in the animation blueprint. So if we search pivot, we have a pivot duration. The reason there's a pivot duration, instead of using the actual pivot animations, it's very simple, I'll just find it and show you. So you see this little node, past far. No, oh, fast path enabled. And we have these pivots here. And it's changing these values based on this pivot duration. So instead of just um, using the amount of time we've been in the pivot to do it, which would lose fast path, and fast path is multi threaded, we have this here. So if I go point one and I go play. You'll see the animation ends way sooner. And if I have 0.5, the animation will last a lot longer. So it's set to 0.3 because it works well with the animations that move at ships with. So if you change the pivoting animation, you may want to change this to one that makes it look better. So if we come into the pivot state, you'll see pivot, I mean, um, move it comes with different pivot animations. The first thing you need to be aware of is these ones did not have loop disabled and it needs to be. So depending on your version of Movit, it may or may not be disabled. So just quickly check that if you're going to use them. So if we have a look at these, heavy is something you might see in an Assassin's Creed game, whereas light is something you might be more likely to see in Breath of the Wild perhaps. And regular is kind of just an in-between. So if we change it to light, and we'll compile and we'll play. You can see it's got quite a light pivoting animation. And by changing these transition settings, you could disable inertialization or you could change the duration. You can get completely different results. And of course, the pivot duration will affect it as well. So it's really up to you what looks best for your type of game. Alright, thank you for watching.